Hey guys, I got a new type of waterfall reservoir I want to show you. This is a prototype, three bay unit. It's only about three and something inches deep, so uh, fits nice. You can put things behind it. Let me show you the parts. Okay, you remember my other waterfalls? They were kind of like catchments. Water would pond flow over the sides, and I could make irregular lips to make the flow irregular or whatever. Well, this is an entrainment wall. So it uses surface attraction so that the water ponds behind the wall, goes through these little cracks, flows down the cracks. And the construction of this wall is, is there's going to be a little piece right here. Notice that I've got two weep holes for air pressure, okay, so that it's easy to regulate the... Anytime you trap things inside a reservoir, like notice how there's a trapped area there, that trapped area could trap air and cause cavitation problems with the pump. So by having little weep holes like that, it's not really going to affect the flow because it's going to be much easier for the water to go over. This forms like a tiny little pond. And this is going to be about a quarter inch above that, so it's level at the bottom. Okay. So the idea is, is the water flows down these faces, ponds, and flows down these faces. The whole thing will be lit from below. Okay, this is the part that goes in between the two ports. This is the back piece. Okay. You can see my back piece. Give you an idea of size of the back piece so you understand why it's the back piece. The back piece is the size of the back of a standard DVD drive. The face is the width, and there is a considerable difference, about 16th or more. Okay. So, the idea is, is that it'll be able to slide into a bay. I'm going to cut some slots down the sides. These are the sides. Okay. So these parts will all go together in a certain series. Too much fun really. This is going to be on edge between these two. Let me just leave that one side up. It'll make it easier. This is the top. Notice it's got a recess for the fill cap. Integral into the top. Okay, and then the way this is going to work. I can't make this balance, okay, but you can get the idea. This is going to go like this. So what we get is behind it is a big pond of water. So instead of this thing jetting straight over a waterfall, which is how most of my waterfalls have had a port up top, the water comes in, I had a diverter to keep it from hitting the face, so it'd kind of make a whoop. Well, this is different. This is going to pond from here, rise, and it's going to flow down the edge of the entrainment wall using surface attraction to keep it from splashing. It's just going to go down, it's not going to suck in air. And then this will go on top of the other one, so you get a double level effect, okay, like this. Okay, the whole thing's clear, and it'll be lit from below, so it should be freaking awesome, dude. So I've got all the parts cut, basically. The tedious part is the sanding and making sure that all the parts are dimensionally correct, that every side is exactly perpendicular, that every piece that has to be trapped between the walls is exactly the same width. That's the part that really is tedious and I'm not going to bother showing you. But I did want to show you this prototype concept that I'll be building. And once I get it a little bit stuck together, I've got my trusty Alpha 1510 over here, Alpha Cool. This thing leaked from the get-go, but it is so freaking powerful it's ridiculous. So this is, this is a great way of seeing if a tremendous amount of flow is going to make this still work because a lot of people have dual pumps they have low restriction systems so what I'm trying to work on here is something that won't gush and splatter and everything but will still have a neat water effect where you'll see water flowing over the face and pooling and flowing over and then changing its optical quality so that when the light that's being pumped up inside these clear pieces comes through all these cut grooves into the water it's going to make it all glow and sparkle and change so that's the plan anyway